wicked from his history. He's a destroyer. He has destroyed PDP. He has destroyed every man he has supported. He has destroyed. So wicked cannot bring anything good or new in this state. If to wicked to win election, you have to write a result for him. Wicked has never won election on a popular vote. 2015, Gesela Khan and uh, Mbu wrote result for him. 2015, police and uh, INEC wrote result for him. Wike can never win an election here and will never win. He's not a popular candidate. He doesn't believe in election and he cannot participate in any popular election. Yeah. So whether Wike is there, he's not there, it's immaterial. What determines him coming back or returning as governor in 2027 is Rivers' vote, not Wike's vote. Wike has a single vote. And that single vote cannot make him or lose election. We have three senatorial districts in River State. Rivers West, Dr. Peter Dilleru. From 2015, that Wike started playing key role in PDP. PDP began to, to come down. As I said, from controlling over 30 states, controlling the center, PDP lost the center, PDP lost the whole number of states. Today, by the time of Basaka is going, PTB controlling just about 12 states. So Wike is never a success story to PDP. Wike has been disaster to PDP. Let us also look at the current history of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, PDP in River State. Quite okay, Wike said he supported Sim. Agreed. But Wike's vote did not give Sim the success. Because Sim contested under the platform of PDP. There were other parties. Rivers people voted for Sim Fubara. Wike, his usual tradition, wants to bring that PDP. But Rivers State will have come together in one accord to say that that wouldn't happen. You brought Alimbodo Sheriff, you brought him down. And from 2015, that Wike became a key player in the People's Democratic Party, what has been the success of PDP. The PDP, instead of making progress from controlling over 30 states, PDP has, has now come down to less than controlling 13 states, as we speak. We can have a history of bringing that people. You support people today, the next day you bring them down. It started with Alimodo Sheriff. Wike supported Alimodo Sheriff. The same Wike brought him down. Wike supported Uche Secondus. The same Wike brought Uche Secondus down. Wike supported Ayu. The same Wike brought Ayu down. From 2015, that Wike started playing key role in PDP. PDP began to, to come down. As I said, from controlling over 30 states, Controlling the center, PDP lost the center, PDP lost the whole number of states. Today, by the time of Basaka is going, PTB controlling just about 12 states. So Wike is never a success story to PDP. Wike has been disaster to PDP. Let us also look at the current history of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, PDP in River State. Quite okay, Wike said he supported Sim. Agreed. But Wike's vote did not give Sim the success. Because Sim contested under the platform of PDP. There were other parties. Reverse people voted for Sim Fubara. Wike, his usual tradition, wants to bring that PDP. But River State will have come together in one accord to say that that wouldn't happen. You brought Alimbodo Sheriff, you brought him down. You brought Secondos, you pull him down. The ambition of Wiki brought down good luck, Jonathan. The ambition of Wiki to be governor brought down People's Democratic Party. From 2015 onward, because of Wiki's ambition, crisis crept in into People's Democratic Party. Roti Miyamichi, the governor of River State, and few other governors left the PDP and supported the APC. And because they left the PDP because of Wicked's crisis, that gave 
APC, All Progressive Congress, big victory at the center. So the emergence of Wike as the governor of River State brought down Jonathan as the president. Jonathan lost his seat, lost his city election because of Wike's uh, ambition. The PDP lost the center because of Wike's uh, ambition. And from 2015, that Wike became a key player in the People's Democratic Party, what has been the success of PDP. The PDP, instead of making progress from controlling over 30 states, PDP has, has now come down to less than controlling 13 states, as we speak. We can have a history of bringing down people. You support people today, the next day you bring them down. It started with Ali Modu Sheriff. Wike supported Ali Modu Sheriff. The same Wike brought him down. Wike supported Uche Secondus. The same Wike brought Uche Secondus down. Wike supported Ayu. The same Wike brought Ayu down. From 2015, that Wike started playing key role in PDP. PDP began to, to come down. As I said, from controlling over 30 states, controlling the center, PDP lost the center, PDP lost the whole number of states. Today, by the time of Basaka is going, PTB is controlling just about 12 states. So Wike is never a success story to PDP. Wike has been disaster to PDP. Let us also look at the current history of uh, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, PDP in River State. Quite okay, Wike said he supported Sim. Agreed. But Wike's vote did not give Sim the success because Sim contested under the platform of PDP. There were other parties. Rivers people voted for Sim Fubara. Wike, his usual tradition, wants to bring down PDP. But River State will have come together in one accord to say that that wouldn't happen. You brought Alimodo Sheriff, you brought him down. You brought Secondos, you pull him down. You brought uh, Ayu, you pull him down. Reverse people said, Wiki can no longer pull down uh, Saint Fubara, and that wouldn't happen. It's about, it's about, it's about money. If you look at Wiki's life, it's all about money what he gets out of the system. If we look at Wiki's eight years as governor of River State, he looted over two trillion naira. But that is not even what we are talking now. For his eight years as governor, he converted River State government properties, 50% of River State government properties to his personal properties. In all of his life, it's about self, self, self. It's not about the people. If you listen to Wiko's speech from 1999 when he became local government chairman up to date as minister, FCT minister, you, have, you can't hear Wiko say, my people. People are about the people. It's about power. Acquiring more power, acquiring more wealth. That is Wiko. Wiko doesn't have any business with the people. And governance, as we all know, it's about the people. And if you see a leader that doesn't talk about the people, forget about that leader. And that is why the, governors, the government at the center is going down. Because men like Wiki cannot govern Nigeria. Nigeria, as we speak, is at a crossroad. There is hunger. Prices of foodstuffs are very high. Prices of petroleum, petroleum products are so high. Exchange rate is high. What is Wike talking about? Instead of Wike coming to River State to address the people, I tell them the government at the center is doing X, Y, Z to make sure that they fix the suffering of the people. Wike comes here to threaten people. He will change the government at the state. He will do this. He will do that. Wike, as far as we know, is all about him. But if you go back to Wiki's life, uh -huh. go back to Wiki's life. Wiki is from uh, Rumi Preko. You know Rumi Preko? His father has two wives. He has siblings from his uh, mother. He has siblings from his father's uh, mother. 
None of them, as we speak, can produce one million from anywhere. We case from Rumer Pricom, as we speak, we don't have good road. We don't have road at Rumer Pricom. We don't have primary school at Rumer Pricom. We don't have primary health center at Rumer Pricom. What is all about all this noise about uh, power, 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 power? If I cannot help your people, who else can you help? No primary school in your place, no primary health center, no secondary school, nothing is happening in your community, no road, no electricity. What are you doing? If you cannot develop your people, they say charity begins from home. If your charity begin from, cannot begin from your home, it means you cannot help the rest of the state. Good people have come together. They were telling me a few weeks ago, saying that they were removed for banner and vote in the good person. What is your take on that? Uh... No, you actually need to look at the, uh, the, the, the group of persons that are gathered now. Look at the group of persons that gather. Who are they? They are weakest few friends. And I've kept, I will keep saying, I will, I've said it and I will keep saying it. Politics is a game of number. It's about number. Wiki doesn't have the number in River State anymore. It doesn't have it. First and foremost, Wiki doesn't believe in election. Wiki believe in writing results. Reggie. And if you look at Wiki's history from 2015, Jonathan and his wife deployed the CP Mbu as the commissioner of River State. Deployed commissioner, deployed the Gesila Khan as River State resident electoral commissioner. They wrote to result for Wiki. Wiki didn't win election in River State by popular vote. If you come to 2019, Awara came to the, the picture very few days to election. He would have won Wiki, if not that the police intervened. Wiki, for him to, Wiki to win election, you have to write a result for him. Wiki has never won election on a popular vote. 2015, Gesela Khan and uh, Mbu wrote result for him. 2015, police and uh, INEC wrote result for him. Wiki can never win election here, and will never win. He's not a popular candidate, he doesn't believe in election, and he cannot participate in any popular election. Yeah. So whether Wiki is there, it's not there, it's immaterial. What determines him coming back or returning as governor in 2027 is Rivers' vote, not Wiki's vote. Wiki has a single vote, and that single vote cannot make him or lose election. We have three senatorial districts in River State. Rivers West, Dr. Peter Dilley ruled from 1999 to 2007. Rivers East, Roti Mamichi was there, 2007 to 2011 to 2015. Ordinarily, Wiki shouldn't come into the picture at all. But because Jonathan and his wife were willing to impose him on the people, he came in. Now is the turn of River Southeast. Sim is doing his first tenor. Sim must ultimately and definitely do his second term. It's not about Wiki. Wiki, it's not about people. Nobody is discussing Wiki in this state. We don't discuss Wiki in this state. Nobody today discusses Wiki in this state. He doesn't believe in election. Wiki is bent on burning down Nigeria. Look at the crisis he has created in PDP at the center. PDP is sharply divided into two now. All because of Wiki. And you know the story of betrayers. Do you know the story of betrayers? You know who betrayed Jesus? How did he end up? He died. Committed suicide. Wiki betrayed reverse people. Wiki is betraying Nigerians. And Nigeria will move on. Wiki cannot destroy Nigeria. River State, as I told you earlier, is one of the federating units. Nobody, including the Supreme Court, can stop governance at this, at the, at the, in this state. So whether Wiki is here, Wiki is not here, the state, the country must move on. The state, the country must do what? Move on. Wiki, from 2015, when he came to center stage at the PTV level, PTV has, come, has been coming down. When he became governor in this state, this, this river state became, became insecure.
You can't travel from one local government to the other in this state. You cannot travel from Portaco to Ahoda. You can't travel from Ahoda to Ichi. You can't travel from uh, Portaco to Ogoni. The state was insecure. For Wicked to become governor in this state in 2025, over 200, 2015, over 200 lives were lost. For Wicked to secure his re-election, soldiers were killed at uh, 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 Akukutoro and other local government. Wike is an epitome of insecurity. Violence. So he has nothing to offer. Go to Rume Priko where he comes from. You can't see anything that represents that. Wike has been in government since 20, 1990, 90 date. You can't see anything. If you cannot develop your immediate community, where else will you develop? Now, Wike is epitomized with a destruction. Wike came into life like he had destroyed PDP. Wike brought uh, Ali Modi Sheru, he destroyed Ali Modi Sharif. Wike brought uh, Secondus, he destroyed Secondus. Wike brought Ayu, he destroyed uh, Ayu. Wike has brought Sim, he wants to destroy Sim. Reverse people have said, eh, no. Straightforward, no. Wike cannot destroy Sim. Sim is product of uh, reverse people. And reverse people must continue to be with him and continue to be with him. As to the question of 2027, he said in one of his speech that you should wait till 2027 if you be alive. Even when God sent Satan from heaven down, angels followed him. The angels are supposed to know that God sent this man back because of his evil deeds. So wicked today is committing all manner of crime. You don't expect the men that are carrying the carnal body to be aware. They must follow him. Let them continue to follow. The Bible says this is perilous time. Allow those that are committing crime to commit crime. Allow those that are doing all manner of things to do. But at the end of the day, justice must prevail. We have sent the message to Tinubu long ago. You should go and ask Jonathan what happened to him now. Jonathan deployed the uh, police, deployed army, deployed REC, RISEC, uh, INEC, everything here to make a uh, wiki governor. At the end of the day, he lost. Tinubu should go and ask Jonathan the relationship he has with wiki as we speak. No relationship. Wiki doesn't greet him. He doesn't greet the wife. So if tomorrow, Atiku, everybody in Nigeria sees Atiku Sizobi as a nice bride, wiki will switch over. Tinobu is not in his uh, uh, diary for anything. No. Tinobu is only there so long as he, he remains in power. All everything about Wike is power, 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 remaining in power. Wike has no friend. Wike has nobody is loyal to. Go and find out who is loyal, Wike loyal to. Who does Wike listen to? Nobody. It's about power, 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 power. If tomorrow the pendulum changes, Wiki will ultimately change to the next man. We have sent this warning long.